Hey, what's up guys? My name's Liam Bushrod and welcome to my setup tour for early 2018. Now I haven't updated any of my tech or equipment for a long time, but it also has to allow me to do lots of university work as well as video editing. So let's just jump straight into it. So first of all, let's talk about the desk. It is extremely small, it is fixed, it doesn't go up and down, and there's barely enough room for my laptop. My lamp here, came with the student house and uh, like the desk, doesn't do anything special. Basically it turns on and off and provides a bit of mood lighting, I guess. Up here I have my collection of junk and trinkets and key rings and other things I've collected and uh, also my laboratory book. My speaker is the Anchor Soundcore 1. It's a Bluetooth speaker so it doesn't have any wires and therefore it must be cool, but it's sitting on my shelf so it does vibrate a lot. And as for what's on my desk, Let's start from the left. Here I have my Toshiba external hard drive. It's storage, it's just storage. It's USB 3.0, two terabytes, and it's a hard drive, so it does make a lot of noise. And that of course brings us up to my laptop, the HP Notebook 15A009 NAH, or 15A009 NAH. It's the one that nobody has been talking about. Pretty much every student has an HP laptop, but they all seem to be different somehow, so there's probably not much point in linking it down below. It has eight gigabytes of RAM, an Intel Core i7 processor, one terabyte of internal storage, and no SSD. So this thing is definitely not a monster, but it does do everything that I need it to, kind of. It's only powerful enough to run a free video editing software called Shotcut, but even then, it only gives me about one frame every quarter of a second while I'm editing. I don't actually know why I still use the SD card reader on my laptop. It's slightly crooked inside, so when I put my SD cards in, the lock slider switch goes into lock position and I can't remove any footage from my SD card. So to stop that happening, I've had to invest in some sellotape, which seems to have done the trick. I actually have an issue with this shelf sticking out halfway across my desk because it means that I can't have a fancy cooling stand lifting up the laptop and stopping it exploding during rendering. So instead, I actually use this piece of junk metal that I welded last year in the university's PIAT course for level one engineers. And I put this underneath my laptop while it's rendering to better dissipate the heat and stop the thing catching fire. The rest of my setup is just my Noise Hush NX80 headphones and I absolutely love these things. The best nine pounds I've ever spent and they have great bass and really, really good noise cancelling. Sometimes I even use these in the library with no music on, I just have them plugged in. They're very comfortable and block out all the noise. Can't ask for anything more really. I actually rarely use my Bluetooth speaker for editing because there's kind of a delay every few seconds when it disconnects. So every time I press play pause, there's sometimes a pause and then there's the audio's out of sync and so I just avoid using that altogether. And anyway, who doesn't love clicky volume buttons? This little guy is a secure microphone that my sister Jasmine got me for Christmas. I've never used it until now, so I've absolutely no idea how this audio sounds. It might be that I'm using the audio from the camera because I've set this up wrong. <laughs> and how did I forget about the chair? It's so uncomfortable and it makes my legs feel so numb that I have to use a Singapore Airlines mini cushion in order to make it so that my legs don't fall off. Oh, and uh, check out that cable management. <laughs> and all the other miscellaneous stuff on my desk is my camera, the Canon PowerShot G7X, which is my only camera, I bought it myself, and I really love it. I added a windscreen to the microphone of the camera for 10 pounds, not sure why it cost that much, because I had to strip the Velcro off, reshape it, and then epoxy it down just to make it usable, but it does a good job of stopping random and unexpected wind noise from ruining my audio. Then I have my keyboard and mouse setup. My keyboard is obviously part of the laptop, so that just leaves the mouse. It's a Logitech wireless mouse. I think the logo's kind of worn off, so I can't really tell. And I have to shake it every so often to wake up the mouse and try and eke out the last remnants of the battery. Although that has been happening for the past year, so maybe it isn't the battery. My editing style with Shotcut is my right hand using the mouse, my left hand operating the keyboard, middle finger on S to trim a clip, index finger on X to delete that clip, and thumb on spacebar to play and pause the video. And that's all there is to say about that. My smartphone of choice is normally on the desk with me as well. I've only ever owned two, and my current one is the LG G6. I like it a lot, 
I've only ever used the rear camera once before and that was celebrating in Adelaide and the second time I'm using it is to film this clip because obviously I'm using my only camera as the subject. Weird fact about the selfie camera, it's actually a wide angle lens so it gives you weird distortion on third party apps like Snapchat and kind of ruins the experience because it means you have to have your head in the middle of the frame to stop it looking weird. And this is my recently deaded LG Google Nexus 5, which served me for well over three years. I can't really think of anything else that makes it onto my desk because it's so damn small, but I will give an honorable mention to my cutting mat because when my laptop isn't on the desk, I can cut things with it. Overall, this setup gives me the maximum friction possible to turn footage into videos. I'm actually still sitting on about 22 days worth of footage from Japan last year, which is extremely frustrating and I wish I could have edited that all already. Now it's probably not gonna get edited until summer of this year. I'm planning to make one video each day, but with the tools I have and Shotcut as my primary editor, that's gonna take a while. I mean, Shotcut doesn't even allow me to move two clips around at the same time. Uh, I think that's it for my setup tour. I personally think that there's two ways to watch setup videos. One, to try and duplicate everything you see in the video and adapt it into your own setup. Two, to take inspiration from that setup and maybe take one or two things. And three, make an entirely different video mocking your own setup and how amateur you really are. I hope this video allows you to do one of those two things or at the very least you found it entertaining. It certainly was a lot of fun for me to make and I'm a huge fan of Marquez and his YouTube channel MKBHD. Marquez, if you're watching this, I hope you see the funny side, but seriously, you owe me an iMac Pro. Okay, that's it. The early 2018 HB Notebook Liam Bushrod video editing setup tour is done, which will probably still be my setup in 2019. As I say, I'll link everything down below but that's pretty much it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new here. Thanks for watching. Cheers.